Hello, welcome to Old vs. Young Reactions. I'm Sawyer with my dad, Mike, and like always, we take your suggestions first priority. So if you want us to react to something, please type it in the comments below the video. And if you want to support us, please subscribe, because without you guys, we would not be who we are. This is John Lennon and the Plastic Ono Band with the Flux Fiddlers. We've never heard of this group, but the song is called Jealous Guy. Uh, Jealous Guy was off of um, John's last album. Um, it was a hit, yeah, yeah, after he passed away, I believe. And, um, or maybe it was before that because it is if it says the plastic ono band, who the flux fiddlers are, I have no idea. Me this neither. is called Ultimate Mix, but it was actually on John Lennon's YouTube channel, wow. so it's approved in some way, and this is what they're presenting. So Let's check out Jealous Guy. All right. This is one of those songs that John wrote when he was on The Lost Weekend in California. Okay. <laughs> from what they say, and uh, was dating, uh, what was it, Fei Meng, I think was the name of the woman, and he was just, yeah, he was having a, a wild time for himself, but he came out of that, I think, with a number of songs that were really introspective about his life. He yeah. really looked at himself a lot. A lot of these things, like, too, like, he could be apologizing, he could be apologizing to anybody, he could be apologizing to Julian, he could be apologizing to Yoko, mm -hmm. he could even be apologizing to the Beatles, like, this, of course, is after they broke up, but who knows? He could be apologizing about them, yeah. his mom, like, we, we don't know. Yeah, they, they, I bet there's multiple layers in this, because we always think of jealousy as just the romantic type. But I'm sure calling himself a jealous guy, it's, yeah, he's particularly kind of talking about a woman in this, but I bet it is multi-layered. There's yeah. probably a lot of feelings that he's we're He's talking about on. him. Yeah. So, all right, it's let's rock. great song.
just a jealous sky this phase of his music where he got deep into himself. It, it took, you know, his, his real soulmate, Paul McCartney, you know, the, the close buddies. Uh, it took Paul a lot longer to get into this kind of introspective music. I mean, really wow. it's been more like the last 20 years or so that he's done it. I think because of John's history and his upbringing, he was able to do that. A like, I mean, this is really, bearing his soul kind yeah, of stuff in he sings it so well i love it when john doesn't put all the you know the speakers and all the other stuff on his yeah, voice and all the like when he just do that. yeah he sings like he he stripped all that off and just we had john lennon's voice instead of all the stuff around it and, yeah, it, and he's got a great he voice it. i love when he does that I just love the lyrics too. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to make you cry. I yep. love that because he does. He probably did really well. He did. He did really mean that when he apologized to people for his problems. Yeah, he had yeah. to. Because I know, like, this can mean to anybody. I know, like, his relationship with Julian was complicated, but to other people in his life too, he could have apologized to Yoko and anybody really in his life. Yeah, he had a lot of issues, and he had a lot of. Things I think he never got to resolve about his own upbringing because uh, he just died too young. Yeah, but he was a great artist, man. I'd oh, love to brilliant. hear more of his own solo stuff because I know there are great albums of his out there, and I'd love to hear it. Like always, this has been Old versus Young Reactions. I'm Sawyer with my dad, Mike, and we'll see you all next time. Enjoy your day and rock on. Music is love. And we love music. Peace.